It wouldn't be a youth fair if it wasn't hot and sweaty. Uh, we have uh, in studio uh, um, as part of the program here, and I want to uh, Beth Pansion set this up for us along with Mary Beth Blair. So I want to make sure I get their animals correct here. Uh, Reagan Barrett and Andrew Bohr both show beef. Reagan has sheep. And Andrew has pigs and goats. Welcome to both of you. Uh, you didn't bring your animals with you, though, and I appreciate that. There's only so much room in here with all the guests and co-hosts. Of course, come a little closer to your mics. There you go, so we can all hear you. Reagan, good morning to you. Good morning. How many years have you been doing youth fair? Oh, I started when I was eight, and I'm 18, so 10. 10 years? And, yeah. and what have you shown mainly over the years? Um, I've exhibited lambs since I was eight, and then I've also shown hogs and cattle. All right, where do you go to school? Uh, I just graduated from Spring Mills High School, and this fall I'm going to South Plains College in Loveland, Texas, on a livestock judging scholarship. Sweet. Wow. Hey, fist bump. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And now, where's Loveland? Um, it's in northwest Texas, okay. right outside of Lubbock. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Andrew, tell us your story with the youth fair. So I've been doing it, um, I guess she's been doing it not or 10. I've been doing it nine years now. Um, this is my second year exhibiting, exhibiting a goat and then third for pigs. And mm-hmm. then uh, I've been doing beef ever since I've been eight years old. Yeah. So. And where do you go to school? I go to school at Hedgesville currently. you a senior? senior. Yes, senior. sir. Very good. Do you have any plans for next year? Uh, we're still getting to that part, but. I'm thinking about going to college, trying to explore some options, visit, tour, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I, when I was a senior in high school, and that was the most asked question, I always wanted to respond, Maria, my plan next year is to no longer have to answer that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mr. Stubblefield, let's, let's pepper these kids with some youth fair questions. Uh, we do have. Of all the animals, which is the easiest one to, to exhibit? Reagan, you go first. Uh, my opinion, it would be pigs. Do Is that because they're supposed to be much smarter than the uh, the other animals? <laughs> yes, and they don't have hair like a sheep or a goat or a steer does. So that's with they're more you, comfortable. You then. just have to work their like skin and hair, which is like oil and lotion, where everything else requires you to like wash them and then blow them out. Uh, less hours are put into pigs than okay. other animals. That's huh. a preparation, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but when they're in the ring, is do they react differently? Uh, it, I think it's situational to the animal. Yeah. So some pigs are like puppy dogs and pretty easy to train, and other ones take a little bit more work. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're pretty smart animals. The problem is sometimes they get a little too smart for <laughs> our own good, and then they figure out, like, hey, this is how I get back to my pin, or... Hey, when I walk in here, she makes me walk around for 30 minutes, but my pen, I get to eat feed. So, <laughs> yeah. And I assume you've named all of them and taken that, I assume that you have named them. One that is especially stubborn, was it named Rob by chance? Ah. No. <laughs> See, Bill, you tried to get me. <laughs> I tried to get It did not go very well, though. I'll try about it next time. Maria, what do you have for Andrew? Andrew, what about you? What's the easiest? I'll, I'll piggyback. No pun intended. Oh, I see you doing that. Um, Easiest animal, hardest animal to um, train and then show. Um, Well, from experience, I could probably say pigs as well. I would agree with that. And um, probably for the hardest, I'd probably say cattle. Mm -hmm. Because then again, um, smaller animals are usually easier to break at tendencies of um, easier to domesticate, if you would kind of easier to tame and break and what all but uh cattle you starting off at 600 pounds it's pretty easy to get drug around the pen there real real quick have either of you had relationships with your animals because we know what the end game is right and um is that difficult or you guys are both pros so probably you're used to it by now right um talk a little bit about that yeah um with the amount of hours you put into them, you definitely gain really close relationships, and it's very situational to the animal. Like, I have a lamb this year that is like a puppy dog who follow you around. Aww. I've shown him all summer long. He's done very well all summer long, and uh, he's definitely my favorite lamb that I've had in all 10 years. So getting rid of him is going to be a little harder than the others. Um, and then Andrew had a steer that was super special two years ago that he definitely – he sold him at the State Fair because he won – uh, the State Fair of West Virginia with him. So congrats! Wow, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that was a nice steer for you. Uh, by the way, Karen Hammond Dunn said Reagan received a scholarship from the Eastern West Virginia Community Foundation this year too. Before you answer that, my wife's on that board for evaluation, and she speaks very, very highly of all the individuals. And what did you win your uh, your scholarship on? 
Um, I won one of the general uh, scholarships that they offer to Berkeley County School students. Um, there was, I think, five recipients from Spring Mills that got scholarships from that foundation, and that scholarship will go towards my education. I'm going into pre-veterinary studies. Outstanding. Okay. You sound intelligent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-veterinary studies, Bill. Yeah, she does sound intelligent. In fact, uh, uh, she's kind of on a pedestal looking down on all of us. She's so intelligent. Not Maria. Maria's Not got Maria's the high chair. No, well, chair. I have the high chair, but <laughs> you know, chair. other than yeah. that. Hey, so you guys have done uh, for a decade now in, uh, in the youth fair. Andrew, uh, what are you going to miss most about it when these days end? Um, I'd probably say from, from any point, probably the paycheck. If I'm not gonna lie, yeah. but um, <laughs> selling in, that animal, yeah. But in turn, from a uh, person-to-person standpoint, probably the friendships that you build, really. Because you must see some of the same kids every year, right? Yeah, and most of them I still talk to on a daily basis. That's great. So um, usually that and just the atmosphere is different. Then. And you got, and neither of you guys mind the hot, humid, and it's like a dust bowl they're out young. there by they're, this time. They're young, summer. Maria. <laughs> I know, I know. I will say there by the end of the week it does get to you, but you can usually tolerate it for most of the week. Reagan, how about you? Uh, the key is to start really early in the mornings. Um, Andrew and I start in the barn at 6.30 every morning rinsing our steers, and then like we got done his pigs at like nine o'clock and then headed here and then we'll do everything again tonight when it's like nine or ten o'clock once it cools down uh and we typically start that around like june as soon as it gets hot like this we try not to work the animals in the middle of the day because they get hot we get hot every it's not yeah. a good yeah. experience uh, I, i'm yeah. interested in the question that asked before that what will you miss most about the uh not being youth fair oh uh, the youth fair has given me a lot of connections in the industry and employment opportunities and friendships. Um, like Andrew said, uh, a lot of people have been able, I started livestock judging through showing livestock. Um, our county had a program with our current pig chair, Marco Stetler, and he took a group of us in and that's actually where Andrew and I met and a few of our other friends at livestock judging practice. And we went around the county, and my team was fortunate enough to win the state contest. So I got to compete at nationals for livestock judging, and it's led me to go to college for it on a full-ride scholarship. So I'm very grateful for the connections that it's made me in the industry. Are you both from Live On Farms? Do you live on Farms? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Andrew, talk to me about uh, getting best in state last year. Best in state. What do you mean by that? I think that uh, – didn't you mention it Reagan that he won uh, – He won um, – the pig show last year at oh. state fair and the year previous to that he won the steer show yeah, so yeah. talk to us about that okay so i've been very fortunate enough to uh have connections to bring me in good animals that i can show to the best of my abilities in which i think that i have at least tried to mm -hmm. get my best shot but um you know um that state fair deal is just a lot different down there because I've been to the State Fair. It's mm -hmm. huge. If anybody has not been to the West Virginia State Fair, it's worth a trip at some point. Mm -hmm. It's just ginormous. Yeah, but the bad thing is, is the worst steer in the county fair will not touch the Grand Champion steer down there. It's pennies on the dollar for what it is here. So we're very fortunate enough to have um, there's businesses that support Berkeley County in this area that are, for, that are well off enough to reinvest back into the youth. And... Uh, and you don't see that at the state level as much? Oh, not, not at all. Both not of you are shaking your head no yeah. energetically. Yeah. yeah. Our county is very blessed with the support system that we have. Well, that's pretty awesome. And I, I know this uh, county takes pride in the fact that this is one of the few youth fairs left in the area. And you know, the skills that you've developed from your 10 years of doing this are the skills that you'll take with you the rest of your lives right most definitely so who do you want to thank as we get down to our final couple of minutes here and let's uh, let's start with you first reagan who would you like to thank over oh, the years um i would like to thank all of my previous buyers and um all the people who have helped support me to get to where i am uh all the chair people who put in countless hours behind the scenes and maybe they don't receive as upfront of a recognize as they probably should but they will are what keeps our fair running smoothly um all the volunteers that put in hours at our fair to keep it running smoothly. How about you, Andrew? I'd like to second all that. I mean, <laughs> the hours and dedication that these individuals put in to the fairgrounds and all the buyers and everything that kind of carry us along because if because I know that uh, 
a few of these people that I buy from, they're like, hey, can they like, ask for employment or whatever? Like, well, I kind of got myself tied up a little mm -hmm. bit in other places. But um, even then, all the people in the fairgrounds and even some outside people like my dad, I mean, he's he, – six o'clock he's in there you gotta go to the barn you gotta go to the barn i was like well i just got back at like one o'clock from letting the calves out well you gotta get back up and do it again mm -hmm. and that's just like kind of push and drive that they push me through and all the people that have helped me and reagan throughout the way um just that kind of thing showing us the ropes kind of building our skill set to where even though we can uh, build a life through what they had you know i got about 60 seconds left what day will you be most busy most active showing at the youth fair um, or days? I would probably say Wednesday. Wednesday. Reagan? Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesday and Sunday. Well, best of luck to both. You had a comment, Maria? No, I, I'm just um, super uh, excited for both of you. You both obviously have an um, incredibly bright future. And such articulate, genuine individuals. Yeah. My hat's off to both of you. Now, and let me just state this as well. The room smells very good considering these two are up at 6 a.m. <laughs> washing steer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You look marvelous. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. good. It's good to be young. Yeah. Indeed. Hey, uh, uh, in all seriousness, enjoy the youth fair uh, next week, and uh, all the best to you going to school and for your senior year in high school. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank Congratulations you to both of you. Hey, it is uh, 10 o'clock. Bill and Maria, thank you both very much. You're quite welcome. This is Talk Radio, WRR Martinsburg, and TV 10. The Dave Ramsey Show is next, and we'll talk with you again in 22 short hours.